so welcome to the lecture on management uh, on the topic managers as leaders it's a very important uh, topic in uh, the principles of management course uh, the the leadership qualities that a manager essentially requires and who is a manager what does a manager do in terms of uh, the function called leadership Now the, the the first question that we need to ask is, uh, you know, uh, what is the difference between a manager and a leader? Before answering that question, uh, should a manager be a leader? Ideally, a manager should be a leader. So then, who essentially is a leader? Uh, a leader is someone who can influence others and has managerial authority. So this is different from the uh, concept of uh, management, where manager is a person who uh, accomplishes uh, things through others, accomplishes tasks uh, through uh, others. Uh, so what is the, essentially the difference is that a manager uh, often accomplishes the task using managerial authority, while the leader uses influence to get things done. Uh, so. A leader is someone who influences others and who has managerial authority. Uh, why we emphasis on managerial authority is that there is a concept of informal leaders. In an organization, you can see that there are people who has uh, influence, <coughs> but who are not in a managerial position. For example, you take the case of a, uh, a union leader uh, who has a lot of influence among the uh, the members of uh, that union, who will be the employees. Uh, but who doesn't have a managerial authority, but the, uh, the union members are bound to obey uh, the union leader. So that union leader may uh, have an influence which is not supported by managerial authority in an organization. But in this context, we are only dealing with uh, leaders who has managerial authority. So once we have understood the concept of leader, uh, we need to understand what is leadership. Now, leadership is essentially what leaders do. Uh, this is the process of influencing a group to achieve the objectives. So as managers, you need to be a leader. You also need to understand how you adopt the process of influencing others to achieve your goals. Uh, ideally, managers should be leaders. Right? Okay. So uh, all through the literature and the leadership, we are trying to answer this question. Uh, what is an effective leader and how we can build leadership qualities in a uh, person who is interested in managing uh, prospective managers or management uh, students. Uh, so uh, the, the researchers who are behind the concept of leadership has always asked some questions, what are, uh, you know, can we distill certain specific qualities that makes a leader so that uh, when we are training a person to a leadership position, we can train those uh, you know, people on certain qualities so that that when the qualities are instilled he becomes a leader automatically. Now <coughs> there are a lot of researchers that are for and against the concept of uh, leadership qualities and whether manager whether the leadership is a uh, skill or is it something that is uh, innate uh, in a person. So in the in the next uh, series of lectures we'll try to explore what makes a effective leader and uh, whether it is possible to have certain traits uh, that we can develop uh, within ourselves that makes us a good leader. So the early theories of leadership essentially uh, focused on certain personal characteristics. So uh, the early thinkers in during this era uh, thought that leaders are differentiated from non-leaders uh, because they have certain traits uh, in them. So successful leaders have certain common traits uh, and the, there are a lot of uh, leadership theories uh, which talks about a wide variety of skills that leaders have. Uh, so uh, for, the, for the sake of this particular course, let us try to look at certain key uh, skills or key traits that uh, leaders exhibit. Uh, <coughs> uh, so one, one uh, trait that is associated with leadership is the drive. Uh, leaders uh, often exhibit high effort level, so they have a desire for achievement. And uh, so uh, usually they are very ambitious, have a lot of energy, and uh, 
they are hard working they are very persistent they want to get things done and they would put in as much effort as possible to uh, make things happen so that is an important trait uh, that a leader uh, exhibit second i would say it's one of the most important is the desire to lead you know we have seen a lot of people who uh, would like to be a leader but are reluctant to be a leader so that is uh, something that is going to inhibit his uh, path towards leadership so if you want to be a leader there has to be a desire a very strong desire to lead so these are the people who takes the initiative who raise the hands who talk who share the ideas who will be the first one to uh, you know initiate certain things so if you want to get things done these are the people whom you would contact them first because you know that they are go getters so there has to be a demonstration uh, and a willingness to take the responsibility a third is uh, a cliche i would say the honesty and integrity leaders uh, no, the followers needs to trust these leaders so the leaders uh, build trusting relationship between themselves and the followers uh, so honesty and integrity a very very important uh, trait which uh, the research have uh, found that the most of the leaders have the next is of course a personal trait of self confidence uh, because uh, you need to influence people and your followers look towards you as a leader for guidance uh, so naturally you have to be very confident uh, at least you are convince the followers that uh, they are following the right person so once you have made a decision or once you have uh, initiated a process you should you know, exhibit the self confidence uh, intelligence of course a leader needs to be uh, very intelligent he should uh, be able to see the big picture uh, uh often there are there are uh, you know leadership coaches who say that uh, you know leader should be able to see things that the followers are not are not able to uh, see so you may have to have a lot of conceptual uh, skill to to think through confusion to have a level head uh, and should have the ability to provide a vision to the uh, followers or to the company uh, as such job relevant knowledge effective leaders uh, exhibit high level of uh, knowledge about the company industry and of course the technical terms uh, there is in fact a story about henry ford uh, where the journalist asked that you are running a big empire uh, do you know uh, you know all things about automobiles he said i don't know but i know who to call uh, if i have to get any information so job relevant knowledge ability to take well informed decisions Uh, understand the implication of decisions these are very very important <coughs> knowledge uh, uh, skill that a leader should have extraversion the leaders are often very uh, lively sociable uh, assertive uh, of course uh, we can debate whether an introvert person can become a leader or not but these are earlier theories uh, which says that the leaders are often very energetic very lively people because now uh, you you need to influence people and uh, It will be very difficult for a withdrawn person to go out and influence a large number of followers. Now, this, these are the seven traits which the early trait theory says that a leader should have. Uh, so, there are certain issues with regard to this uh, uh, this this set of theories, which says that a, uh, you differentiate a leader with a <coughs> non-leader in terms of certain key traits. Uh, and that is where uh, the researchers started looking for something more than just the characteristics that is the behavior so the next set of uh, leadership theories focused on the behaviors rather than the traits uh, so we'll deal with that in the next lecture